Hello, and welcome to another Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. In this video, we will talk about copying, pasting, and linking animations. When working with a complicated model or assembly, it's much easier to copy and paste the animations than to individually apply all the animations in your scene. In this case, I want to create an exploded view, so I'm going to have multiple parts moving out. To start, I'll select one part, right click, and then add a translation to that part. Because the model was imported respecting the original units, in this case millimeters, the translation unit of 1 will represent a value of 1 millimeter. In order to make the translation more visible, I'll go ahead and input a larger unit value. I'm also going to adjust my animation length and add a little bit of motion easing to create a more natural animation movement. I've applied it to that one part, but now I can also copy that to another part. If I select the animation, right click and copy it, I can select another part in my scene tree, right click and I can paste that animation to the newly selected part. Now you can see that I have two translation animations in my timeline. What I want to do to that second animation is have it a little bit delayed, so I'll just drag that to the desired point in my timeline. Now I have one part moving out first, and then my second part moving out slightly offset from the first. Then for the second animation, I'm also going to change the distance so that that part does not travel as far. I'm going to repeat this one more time to cause all three components of the drone's camera to explode outward. Now let's talk about linked animations. You can see that my model has four propellers that I would like to have explode upward. In this case, I'd like to have the back two explode upward first, then have the front two propellers follow slightly offset from the others. To do this, I'm going to begin by selecting the back right propeller in the scene tree, right clicking and choosing the translate animation. In order to make my translation more visible, I'll go ahead and change that value to something like 100 and I'll add a little bit of motion easing as well. Now, if I scrub through the timeline, the selected part can visibly be seen elevating from its original position. Since I would like to have the back left propeller share the same animation, I'll go ahead and paste a linked animation to that propeller. To do this, I'll first select the propeller I just animated from the scene tree. I'll then right click and copy that animation. Then I'll find the back left propeller in the scene tree, right click and paste the animation as a linked animation to the specified part. Now I can scrub through the timeline. You can see that both propellers share the same animation with the same settings under one node. I'll go ahead and repeat this process for the front two propellers and offset their position within the timeline. Now when I scrub through, you'll notice that only two translation nodes exist on the timeline, but all four parts are now animated. All our parts are now exploded outward. Great, but now let's reassemble our model within the animation. Rather than reanimating each part to return to its original position, I'll simply group our animations and mirror each directory. To do this, I'll multi-select the desired nodes by holding shift and selecting the range of animations I'd like to group. After the desired animations are highlighted, I can right click and select add to folder. I'll call this folder camera parts moving out. I can then right click the newly created directory and select mirror and move the mirror directory into my desired position within the timeline. I'll also go ahead and name this new directory camera parts moving in. I'll then repeat this process for my propeller animations. I'll group them, create a mirrored directory, and move that directory into the desired position. I can now scrub through or press play to view my completed animation. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 animation timeline overview. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.